Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is volume of rectangular prisms. Last uh, lesson we did uh, surface area, okay? So recall anything that ends with area, any questions, ends with square units, okay? Here volume is always cubic units, so like meters cubed, feet cubed, inches cubed, or, or cubic uh, centimeters, something like that, okay? So here we go, here's our, our question, how do we find the volume of rectangular prisms? And, and check this out right here, we're going to do um, uh, fractional edges, so like five and a fourth, things like that, okay? So we're going to be multiplying. Here's a cube that has edge length one, and volume one cubic unit. It's filled with smaller cubes as shown, okay? So how many small cubes are there and filled in the large cube? So here's one, and it says right here the volume. The volume is one cubic unit right there, okay? All right, so the reason why it's one is because it's one times one times one. One times one times one, okay? Anyways, so there's three in the front. There's three in the middle. And there's three in the back. I'm sorry, did I say three in the front? There's nine in the front. Uh -huh. I was just checking to see if you're paying attention. There's nine in the middle. There's nine in the back. So there's nine plus nine plus nine or 27 of those small guys right there. What's the volume of one small cube? How do we know? Well, okay. Since it says right here the volume of one cube is uh, one cubic unit, then and this guy holds 27 of them, then each one of these little small guys is is 1 27th of the big guy right there something like that okay so what's the edge length of one of those small cubes okay well if this is 1 right here and it's divided up equally three times then each one that is going to be one third of a unit okay so that's the edge length okay so the formula for the volume of the cube with edge L is L times L times L or L cubed Find the volume of one of those small cubes, okay? Remember, the vol the side was one-third, so it's going to be one-third times one-third times one-third. And when you're multiplying fractions, remember, multiply the top. One times one times one is one. Three times three is nine. Times three is 27, so one twenty-seventh right there, okay? And then it says here, it says um, uh, compare the volume that we found right there in section D with the volume we found in section B. Well, let's go look at section B, okay? So section B is right here. Section B, uh, we got 127th. Well, that's the same thing that we got right here in, in section D. We got 127th right there, okay? So the volumes are the same, okay? All right, suppose the cube has edge length not one this time, but two-thirds of a unit. And if we fill that cube with the same smaller cubes, which were one-third, uh, how many cubes can we expect that we need for this one right here? And what's the volume of this new cube? Okay, and explain. Okay. All right, remember the, the, the original smaller cubes were one-third, uh, which is half of two-thirds. Okay, so if I cut that, that two-thirds up into halves each side right there, check this out, you guys. We get... We get four in the front and four in the back. So there's going to be eight of the smaller cubes right there. Okay, and so the volume equals uh, L times L times L, or L cubed. So two-thirds times two-thirds times two-thirds. So two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Three times three is nine. Nine times three is 27. So I see eight twenty-sevenths right there. Cubic units, remember, volume is always cubic units right there. Okay, so Ben says that the volume of a cube with edge length 3 fourths unit is 3 fourths the volume of the unit cube. The unit cube is uh, 1, by the way. Uh, that's what unit means, 1 unit. So agree or disagree? Well, I'm going to uh, disagree with Ben, although Ben's a nice guy. He likes to play cards. I know that in my class. But um, uh, uh, so the volume is going to be, uh, remember the volume right there is, I'm sorry, I've got Lucy in here. I just got a sticker in here. I'm pulling out a sticker. Lucy's my, my good little dog. She wants to play with Squeaky. Okay. Okay, she ran to get it. You're going to hear that for the next the rest of the video. So I'm going to disagree, you guys. 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 times 4 is 64. So the volume, if that's what it is, 3 fourths of a unit, um, the volume is going to be 27 60 fourths of the unit of the cubic unit okay or the unit cubed all right so here we go we got a rectangular prism has six faces any pair there it is <clears throat> any pair sorry i'm throwing squeaky 
of opposite faces can be called the base of the prism right here. So if you have a rectangular prism, and that's the rest of this lesson right here, um, uh, the volume is length times width times height, which is a groovy formula. Or you can do base times height, where base is um, uh, uh, length times width. Okay, so base is typically, most people think of base as the bottom right here. So here's the base right here, so length times width. So the area of the base times the height, okay, same thing, same formula. All right, so find the volume of this guy right here, okay? So let's find that one of the bases, we'll do the bottom piece, three times two and a fourth, okay? Now let's convert two and a fourth to an improper fraction. Do you remember how to do that? Four times two is eight, eight plus one is nine. So I'm gonna change this to nine fourths right there, okay? So three is three over one, and then nothing cancels or cross cancels. I'm looking for numbers on the bottom that can cancel out with numbers on the top. Nothing does, so we'll go ahead and multiply. 3 times 9 is 27. 1 times 4 is 4. So 27 fourths is going to be our answer. Let's convert that back to a uh, uh, find the volume now. So that's the area of the base. So the height is 4.5. So I'm going to multiply 27 fourths times 4.5. Four Let's change this to an improper fraction. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9, so again, you guys, nothing cross cancels. 4 doesn't go into anything on top, neither does 2. So let's multiply 27 times 8 and 4 times 2, and we get uh, 243 eighths right there. And let's convert that back to a, a mixed number, because usually if it starts with a mixed number, we're going to end it with a mixed number. So we're going to divide, long divide, 8 into 243, your favorite long division. Do you remember that? Okay, I started it right here. 8 goes into 24 three times, and when we subtract, we get 0, bring down to 3, and we have to do it one more time. How many times does 8 go into 3? 0 times. So when we put the 0 down there, then we our remainder is still 3, but real common errors. Kids want to say it's 3 and 3 eighths. Well, that's, that can't be, guys. It's 30 and 3 eighths meters cubed, okay? All right, so why is it helpful to leave the area of the base as an improper fraction? Well, when you're multiplying these guys, it's easier to multiply improper fractions than it is mixed numbers, okay? Something like that, okay? All right, let's find the volume of these guys, okay? Volume equals length times width times height. You can do base times height if you want. I'm going to do length times width times height, okay? And then convert them to improper fractions. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. So this will be 15 halves. This will be 4 over 1. This is going to be 5 over 2. Okay, so let's do that. See if anything cross cancels, you guys. Hey, it does. Look, you guys, this 2 and 2 on the bottom is 4. It's going to cancel out that 4. So we're left with 15 times 5. 15 times 5 is going to get us that 75 cubic inches. Okay, don't forget about the cubic inches, you guys. All right, so a lot of kids want to just write 75. And um, 75 what? 75 hats, 75 Lucy's. 75, um, uh, let's see, my other dog's Harleys. Uh, anyway, uh, so 75 in this case uh, is cubic inches, inches cubed, okay? Okay, this next one, okay, let's convert those to improper fractions. We get that, multiply, nothing cross cancels. 8 goes into 45 times with 4 left over, so um, uh, we get 5, or four, 5 again, so we get 55 and 1 eighth on that when we do that cubic inches, okay? All right, so here a terrarium, you guys, is a, something like a fish tank, but it grows uh, plants, okay? Beautiful little um, uh, setups right there. It's, um, some of them are shaped like a rectangular prism. This prism is 25 and a half inches long, 13 and a half inches wide, and 16 inches deep. So what's the volume? Now, volume questions is how much water can you fill it up, something like that, or how much um, um, oxygen can oxygen can be inside of that or liquid or something. All right, sorry, I'm trying to pull a sticker out of my little girl Lucy. She was outside playing. I live on a small ranch and she goes running out. We have people, construction people, working on our house and they leave the back gate open. And anyway, sorry. <laughs> all right, so volume is length times width times height. So we're going to multiply all those numbers, change them to improper fractions, okay? So I'm going to do 2 times 25 is 50. 50 plus 1 is 51, 51 halves. 2 times 13 is 26, plus 1 is 27, 27 halves, and then 16 over 1. And then cross cancel, 2 and 2 equals 4, 
4 goes into 16 uh, 4 times, so we're left with 15 times 27 times 4. Yeah, good girl. Yeah. Uh, and so we get 5,508 cubic inches. Isn't that fascinating, guys? Okay, one more. All right, a rectangular swimming pool is 15 meters long, 10 and a half meters wide, and 2 and a half meters deep. What's the volume? Same setup, you guys. So plug them in, change them to improper fractions, and then anything cancel? I don't see anything canceling, you guys. So we get that, and then put it back into a mixed number, and you get that. All right, you guys, turn up the volume, more volume. Okay, take care, you guys.